Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Sean Roberry, your independent home cook, along with my sous chef and wife, Miss Lisa Roberry. That's me. Independent Sensi Consultant. Uh, this is totally not the third video <laughs> <laughs> that's filmed in a row. As you can tell, uh, Lisa is a professional and has changed her wardrobe, uh, wardrobe for each change. one. Uh, but we, we kept the mugs the same <laughs> and my shirt the same. Uh, Hey, hey, I'm just trying to get the content just up, guys. Try, just trying to be real. Just trying to, yeah, we, we break <laughs> down that fourth wall here on uh, on the show. So uh, this episode is going to be another steak and potatoes. And so you're wondering, hey, I thought you already did that. We did, but it's going to be a little bit different because we wanted to try a different uh, <laughs> try, a loose attempt, a loose try at these potatoes. Um, it will, so we'll get into that here in a minute. But uh, basically we're going to do kind of like we did i think it was episode two uh smoke uh, i think we got uh, ribeyes um smoked ribeyes and then uh, some russet potatoes and then we uh also have some corn because it's uh, corn season I up here in beautiful corn. idaho where it's a million degrees outside and there's corn everywhere yeah everywhere it's so good. Uh, everywhere yeah i our backyard neighbor is actually growing a bunch of corn and i had i'm a, gonna hop the fence and i'm gonna steal it yeah she was scouting it out and, yeah the other day she, no, he's a nice guy it's totally fine yeah. <laughs> he'll understand he's not ready yet so um <laughs> Well, let's uh, get into the prep in that. Uh, th this recipe for the potatoes I saw on Facebook. Facebook gets me with everything, so um, I figured we'd give it a try. She actually saw it on the screen, and she's like, <laughs> I was oh, totally, what? I was totally peeping away. He was looking, I was like, because I, the way our house is set up, I was in the kitchen, and he was on the couch, and I just, it caught my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potato. Potatoes catch my eye. <laughs> I was just like, what? Uh, yeah, find you a soulmate that looks at you the way Lisa looks at potatoes because seriously it's a it's a thing um but i saw it on his ipad and i'm like whatever that is that needs to happen and he's like all right we're gonna make it happen well <laughs> yeah we tried that's what this attempt is <laughs> we, we tried so i ended up uh, printing it out and saved it and so i'll put all the info below it's from uh, the chef jamie oliver uh he did um i mean it looked great on video when, when he did it and so he made it the, look so easy yeah you'll have to take a look at his video and then take a look at ours coming up and how we mangled <laughs> these uh, potatoes um, so let's go through a little bit of the prep real quick and then we'll talk about how well the potatoes did or didn't turn out yeah all right we'll be right back
as you can see, that did not turn out so well. <laughs> And one thing I really want, I, don't, I wasn't sure if I was going to bring this up now or at the end, but I feel like now is a good time. Um, on this recipe for the Let's terrific try. tornado potatoes, um, this is ranked at easy, right? Not, you, difficulty is not too tricky. Difficult is not, or difficult is not too tricky? Difficulty. Difficulty, not too tricky, which means I'm reading that as, okay, anybody can do it. Don't be discouraged. Like, do not be discouraged because what may be easy for somebody or not too tricky for somebody means it could be totally tricky for somebody else or a couple of somebody else's yeah. because it was, it was really tricky, but we're not giving up. Yeah. And, and that's what was kind of frustrating. I, um, I think that I'm pretty decent with an eye if I worked in the meat department for uh, several years and um, <laughs> trying to do that with the potato, I was like, what in the heck is going on? Uh, so like with pretty much every other aspect of um, my life and our life, I say, well, oh, there's gotta be a more efficient yes. way to do this. And so there is. And <laughs> so we ended up, um, after that meal was done, ended up getting on Amazon, uh, I'll, I'll show it. <laughs> <laughs> talk about it here at the end a little bit and i'll put a little screenshot of of it there but um we got the potatoes done uh steaks seasoned up corn seasoned up um so let's go put the corn or excuse me let's go put the potatoes on the grill and uh they're on the traeger and we will see you guys shortly uh for the recap at the end yep And now for the Roeberry recap. We got there. Yeah. <laughs> we got there, friends. 
uh, tell you what, the steak turned out phenomenal. It yes. was re really, really good. good. Once that went on uh, to the Traeger, I set the probe for 105, and then um, once that went off, moved it over to the gas grill, as you saw, and just uh, did a sear for a couple minutes on each side to get that temperature up to uh, 130 or so, uh, like it medium, uh, medium rare. And so the steak turned out phenomenal. Really uh, the corn turned out great. So good. Uh, had a little spice to it. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, it did. It was really, really nice. Now let's talk about the potatoes. Let's talk about the potatoes. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. Great flavor. They had great flavor. Yeah. The potential is there for sure. And even though like we were mangling them as we were cutting them, I was like, I don't care. We are eating these potatoes. Like I don't care if they come out in a, in a trillion different pieces. We're, we're going to eat them. And we attempted it. Yeah. Well, and so on the recipe, it calls for uh, 375. So that's what I set the Traeger to. Normally, when we do the, the smoke taters on the Traeger, I do it for 400. And it takes about an hour, a little bit over an hour when the potatoes are whole. So I was thinking 375 with them all diced. Uh, diced up like crazy um, the heat would be able to get into the potato and it, it, and it might get uh, done at that quicker time uh, turns out not so much and that partly could be because of how how many times I was opening the lid you know we had That's put true. the uh, put the potatoes on and then a half hour 40 minutes or so later put the steaks on and or the corn and then the steaks and just yeah. going all over the place so I, I think we we're losing quite a bit of heat on it with that also, when I was, sorry, I don't mean to cut oh. you off. Um, <clears throat> when we were like giving it a taste test to see if it was done, oh. I took the end piece. So the end piece is the smallest piece and that's what's gonna get done first. So those end pieces were done and they were delicious. But by the time we were working our way past the end pieces, um, the potatoes were crunchy. So I would say if you're going to, you know, kind of treat it like a baked potato, like maybe poke the middle part um don't focus on the ends because the ends are always going to cook first yeah and compared to the the recipe you'll see in the picture here i mean ours it, it really didn't uh, kind of accordion out yeah. like it was supposed to because the, the knife cuts were all over the place <laughs> so um it, it was it was a mess that the flavor the seasoning was good between um the parmesan cheese uh, we did the cayenne paprika uh, some cumin and pepper i believe it was uh, everything on there um and the oh, garlic powder as well so yeah. the, the flavor was great and the, the part that she tried was definitely one of the thinner cuts and it was at the end like she said so that's why um that's why yeah. it seemed like it was done so with all that i ended up uh, getting on amazon because amazon has everything and so bought a uh, uh, basically a spiralizer for the potatoes so we are not going to run into that issue again <laughs> that's going to be coming in here any day now and we will be doing we a, will be giving this another try yeah absolutely for sure it, the, the potential is certainly there yes and uh yeah i mean it even moved over from the smoker <laughs> onto the gas grill trying to get the skin a little bit more crispy and all that so it it, it was it was okay it was uh it was okay. It was a good learning experience because now we know, now we have a base and we know what to like adjust. And that's what we always tell you guys is like, you know, <clears throat> what we've always done is, you know, try the recipe as is, and then, you know, make your adjustments. And even at that, like yesterday or yeah, when we, when we made this, um, he, he was like, you know, what? I'm going to take it from the smoker and put it on the grill, you know, and that does, that's not called in the, in the recipe at all, but he just kind of channeled what he thinks is right. And I think that really did help it a little yeah, bit for sure. Yeah. So somewhat, not enough, <laughs> not enough to save it, but we'll check it out on the next one. Yep. So, all right guys. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, again, if you have any recipes that you want to send in or, uh, comments, emails, anything, uh, send it into rowberry cooking at yahoo.com. And also don't forget to smash that like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. So every time the video goes up, you get the alert. Yes, because you don't want to miss it. And lastly, over on Instagram, don't forget to follow us there. Our handles are above us. We are a great time, and she does a lot of my ghost stories where she's showing. You're not supposed uh, to tell anybody. Oh, uh, who, yeah, whoever. <laughs> <laughs> he's just so good that he can actually like cook and dice and all that yeah. and and actually story as well at yeah. the same time so <laughs> it's ranger <laughs> yeah all right sounds good guys we'll see you on the next episode see you next time see you next time bye guys